I've been watching some pretty outrageous YouTube videos, videos with outrageous claims. <clears throat> I'm not going to say what they are, and I'm not going to say what my problem with them was. Well, hon, you don't have to. Because your problem is, well, outrageously obvious. But it is comforting to know that for once, you are not going to say what your problem is. I, on the other hand, am going to take this opportunity to talk about someone who has made outrageous videos in the past, all of which he has since chosen to delete because they were so outrageously stupid, full of lies, and dripping with such ignorance that anyone with a brain larger than any member of the genus Cavia could see his intellectual impotence shining through, like the biggest dim bulb that has ever been put in a socket. Someone who himself, and how did he put it? Outrageous claims, outrageous claims, outrageous claims. Oh, that's right. Makes outrageous claims. Someone who has no knowledge of any of the things he claims to know everything about, especially in the areas of religion, philosophy, history, and any field of science. Yes, I'm talking about you, hon. And for those of you out there who do not recognize little sweet britches here, you may have encountered him before in comment sections of videos that he loves to troll. Yes, he is a YouTube troll. And he goes by the YouTube username, Guinea Piggy Man. But from this point on in this video, I am just going to refer to Guinea Piggy Man simply as Clown Shoes. Clown Shoes has got to be one of the smartest people to ever walk the surface of this planet. Well, according to his credentials and education that he claims to have, at least. Either that, or he is just the biggest fucking liar to ever grace our presence here on YouTube. Let's, uh, let's take a look at what this 37-year-old genius has to say about his education. Did I say 37? <laughs> Sorry about that. My mistake. He was 37, as you can see here in this comment he had left. But... He has since had a birthday. Just over three weeks after he wrote this, he turned 34. So let's take a look at what this 34-year-old genius has to say about his education. Before his 34th birthday, back when he was only 37, someone accused him of claiming that he had 12 college degrees. He openly admitted that he does not have 12 degrees. He said that no one could have 12 degrees. He then asked, what degrees did he ever claim to have? And in this comment, he answers his own question and implies that the answer is none. But not surprisingly, this is not what he says elsewhere on YouTube and the internet. Let's take a look at some of Clown Shoe's academic achievements. Well, at least the ones that I have caught him proclaiming. Guinea Piggy Man, I'm sorry, Clown Shoes, claims to have studied religion in college, which makes sense since he claims to have, sometime before 1985, received a Master's in Judeo-Christian Studies from ECSU, and in more recent times, at the end of 2010, he received a PhD in Bible Studies from Wesleyan University. He has a Master's in Quantum Theory from ECSU, a Bachelor in Chemistry from ECSU, a Degree in Nuclear Biology slash Genetics from Caltech. Funny how he is the only one, it seems, that has gone to Caltech that spells the name of his alma mater halfway in caps. That's not what the school does. Anyone who went there would know that. Anyone who is even remotely familiar with Caltech would know that the Cal in Caltech is not an acronym. Clown Shoes also received from undisclosed universities a degree in religious studies, a PhD in radiology, a PhD in environmental studies, a master's in physics, a bachelor's in quantum mechanics, and a degree in nuclear physics. If he put those last three together with his master's in quantum theory, Sounds to me like all he really has is a PhD in quantum bullshit. Oh, but wait, there's more. Clown Shoes also has a PhD in archaeology, 
an unspecified law degree, a bachelor's in music theory, and a bachelor's in Judeo-Christian studies. Yes, that is the way he spelled Judeo this time. It must have been tough getting a degree in something that he couldn't even spell. But then again, it must have been an easy degree for him to get since he already received a master's in the same studies 27 years ago, you know, when he was just about eight years old. Oh, but wait, there is still more. Clown Shoes has also received credits for studying Mandelbrot chaos theory, as well as credits for studying classical guitar. Credits? Credits from whom? Your pet goldfish? And last but not least, Clown Shoes has also attended seminary school back in the day when he was Catholic which is a pretty good accomplishment for someone who was just bar mitzvahed a few years before. These accolades, accomplishments, and degrees are pretty impressive, especially for someone who himself said that no one has a dozen degrees, let alone 15 and counting. By now you're probably asking yourself, so what does guinea piggy man, <laughs> I'm sorry, I did it again. Clown shoes do with these piles and piles of degrees. Well, fortunately, here on YouTube and elsewhere on the internet, Clown Shoes was kind enough to let us all know what it is exactly that he does for a living by leaving comments on videos in various chat areas discussing his profession with other YouTube users. Let's see what he had to say. And remember, there is no doubling of names on YouTube. Therefore, there is only one guinea piggy man. And also remember, that he just turned 34. And since he studied English in college, he should have no problem with spelling or grammar. You might want to keep your fingers close to the pause button for this one, folks. This Jewish ex-Catholic boy, who by the way is also a self-proclaimed atheist, Satanist, Mason, and theist, is also a college lecturer a professional classical guitar player. He has also been touring with some big bands, not as a guitar player, but as a sound engineer, and he has been doing that for the past 10 years. He writes magazine articles for a living. He has been an ordained attorney since 1988, and has been one ever since he passed the bar exam at the age of 10. He owns a music studio. For the past 13 years, he has also been working in the field of biblical studies. He's been studying the Egyptian language for the past 32 years, since the age of two. Also, at the age of two, he became a sound engineer and has been doing that ever since. He's a zoologist, a pilot, a professional flautist, a teacher, an author who has written at least two books. He's an archeologist, and probably the only one that looks for dinosaur bones. You know, the thing that paleontologists do. For the past 27 years, he has been a paranormal researcher, which according to him, he has been doing professionally since he was seven. And last but not least, he raises guinea pigs for a living. Wow, clown shoes, you have been one busy fucking guy, hun. Oh yeah, these uh, degrees that you claim to have received from Caltech, ECSU, and Connecticut Wesleyan don't exist, at least not at those schools. These are their websites and these are their phone numbers for anyone who remotely feels the need to check at this point to see who is lying in this video. And based on that and this simple confession of yours, I would have to say that all the other degrees are lies too. You know, Clown Shoes, if lies were made out of shit, you would have diarrhea spraying out of your mouth every day. And finally, there is this little issue surrounding some videos that you claim you never made. Clown Shoes, you made them and deleted them for the reasons I gave at the beginning of this video. And since you are just going to lie about it, I am going to prove right now that you did just that. 
Clown Shoes. This is your YouTube channel. Look at the number of views on your videos. Kind of hard to have video views if you never made a video. Obviously, you took the stupid things down. You claim that this is not you in this video. Well, Clown Shoes, you did leave this comment claiming to own a few websites. So I checked out this one. And guess who I found on there? Guinea Piggy Man, the owner of the website. You told the truth for once. Unless you are going to tell me and everybody else that that person in this video is not the person on your website. You know, the website you own, the website you now claim to be 25 years old on. <laughs> 25, please. This is you. You know it is you, and now I am going to play the video that you claim never existed for all to enjoy. I've been watching some pretty outrageous YouTube videos, videos with outrageous claims. <clears throat> I'm not going to say what they are, and I'm not going to say what my problem with them was kind of on the topic, let me ask you this quick question, okay? Here's a quiz for you. How many of each animal did Noah bring on the ark? If the ark was real, if Noah really lived, how many animals do you think he brought on the ark? And where did you hear that from? Now I'm going to pause for a second so that you can leave a comment with the answer and then I'll tell you the answer in a few seconds. Okay, if you need more time, please pause the video now and finish writing your comment. The correct number, according to Genesis, verse 7, lines 2 through 3, there was seven of each animal. Bet you didn't know that. And who, your whole life, has been telling you there was only two? The very people who rely on the same book that says there was exactly seven. Wow, clown shoes. Just, just wow. That was riveting. So much so that I'm not even going to address it. Any seven-year-old who has been to Sunday school a few times could rip through the ignorance in that piece of work. You do know that the Bible has chapters, right? Not just verses. And you do know the difference between clean and unclean animals, don't you? Apparently not. You know, Clown Shoes, there are at least 10 people with a copy of this video here on YouTube right now. And I can guarantee you that that number will grow. I can also tell you that as long as you keep lying, trolling, being disrespectful, and condescending to other YouTube users, a copy of this video will always be out there. This one's for you, hon. I hope you enjoyed the video.